I'm ready. Yes, sir. Hi, thanks for watching. I'm Kevin Trudeau, and this is another edition of ITV. Today, my guest is Scott Kennedy, nutritional expert, and he claims that taking vitamins is not only a waste of money, but could be harming you. Scott, thanks for being my guest. Glad to be here, Kevin. Thank you. Now, you're a, an expert in nutrition and health, um, formulated many nutritional products, mm -hmm. and you're saying that people who are spending money take, buying vitamin and mineral supplements are wasting their money and these products can harm them. Why? Well, I think this is true. And, you know, if we remember Linus Pauling, he, uh, he died of prostate cancer uh, a few years back. He created a synthetic vitamin called vitamin C back in the 20s. And his peers, which are the medical people, the scientists, they all went into a frenzy. Oh, we've created a nutrition. We've created a, a molecule in our laboratory with petroleum, not with, uh, with organic stuff. And uh, he, he proved that it cured uh, scurvy, which was an extreme vitamin C deficiency. So if scurvy could go away with, a, with synthetic vitamin C, well, maybe it could feed us too. But that's the thing he never proved. He believed it. He never proved that vi synthetic vitamin C could take a healthy person and make them healthier. Now, or take the place of, of vitamin C in limes, uh, apples, and citrus. Now, he when, never proved that. Now, when you say they th allude to that. When you say synthetic vitamins, mm -hmm. when a person goes to their pharmacy or their health food store right. and they buy a multivitamin or vitamin C or vitamin D or vitamin E or zinc or a mineral supplement, and they spend all this money on these vitamins, right? what is in the vitamins? Well, minerals are different, so let's talk about vitamins. Okay. Vitamins are living. Okay, vita means vitality in Latin, or life. Amine means amino acid. The first vitamin was the, the vitamin C, the first named vitamin by a Dutch scientist. Now, if you remember the British Navy, they could stay in the high seas longer than... Uh, vitamin C pretty much helped the British to uh, imperialize the world, okay, with what's gone on in history. They could stay on the, on the high seas with the limes. They were called limeys. So that's when the vitamin, and the Dutch scientist, what's in there? What's in those limes? Well, he, he found vitamin C. Well, then Paul, Pauling synthesized it, and the medical industry went crazy in the last century, and they began synthesizing all these vitamins. When you say synthesizing vitamins, if a person buys a vitamin in a store, mm -hmm. aren't they getting, aren't vitamins vitamins? No, they're not even vitamins. That's the trip. That's the lie. And, you know, everything supports what I'm saying. And, and it's amazing because it goes on, and it goes on by these people who have vested interest in the pharmaceutically made vitamins. But every major disease increased in the people taking the vitamins in the, in the last th three quarters of the, of the 20th century. So, all so the I'm saying the vitamins are part of the problem, not the solution. So and, and, and this is what's been going on. It's, it's an amazing uh, lie. In, in fact, the FTC should really go after these people. So the vitamins that people buy in stores, whether it's a health food store, or whether it's in a pharmacy, whatever, the vitamins are man-made synthetic chemicals. Spinning correct? left around the nucleus. Everything in nature spins So right. they're man-made chemicals I that believe, come out of a laboratory. Absolutely. Made from petroleum. They're, they're made from the from oil. oil. Industry, the oil industry. Yes. And, and, so the, and then the drug companies uh, create eight drug companies they were just cited by the World, World Health Organization and the European Union. They were fined because one company ratted on the others, not unlike the tobacco industry, mm -hmm. where they said they were price fixing and colluding in Switzerland the price of vitamins that go in cattle feed and, and go in our cereals and go in our supplements. Eight drug companies make 85% of these chemicals. So when people go out and buy different brands of vitamins, there's 350 different brands, but the chemicals in the brands at Walmart are the same chemicals that are in the brands at Nature Made. They're both made by Pharmavite, and they buy their chemicals from the drug companies. These are drugs in a bottle. Now, pretty much they're benign, but the pH in these things are 2.0. So it screws, it screws. It yeah. sends off your pH. Right. I wanted to say screw up your pH. I don't know if we can say that on you TV. You can say it, I okay, guess. Okay, it screws yeah. up your pH. Put your body in balance, imbalance, okay? And that imbalance uh, creates eczema, psoriasis. A lot of these, uh, these problems and, and diabetes and can lead to other diseases. The problems that can't be cured because um, you, you can't cure them with drugs because drugs are already imbalanced in the pH side. So it, it, it creates, I think the vitamins have created more problems in the blood of the citizens of this country and worldwide than 
then they've solved. And I'm saying that the drug companies then get you coming and they get you going. They get you in the health food store and then they get you down at the pharmacy. So you're saying eight pharmaceutical companies manufacture the synthetic chemicals called vitamins, yes. but they're not real vitamins. No, they're, they're not even definitively vitamins. There's nothing living in there. They're synthetic chemicals. With no food value. And all the hundreds and hundreds of brands out there are all basically coming from the same eight drug companies. Eighty-five percent of them, most of them, okay. yes. And that's what people are buying. And this is why, is this why <laughs> when, quote, studies are done on vitamins, they say they're not effective? That's one of the reasons. But they do say they are effective in other ways. They cause kidney stones, their pH is imbalanced, they can cause other side effects. Because drugs do cause side effects, whereas real vitamins don't. There's no side effects except good health from taking vitamins in your food. This is and why, I know you're a proponent of those. So this is why eating good, f healthy food is obviously better, infinitely better than taking any vitamin. Yes, and when we can't, or we don't, like in America, then we should supplement with what we're missing which would be real vitamins, and that's how we get to sea veg, and that's how we get to organic supplements, which there's very few of those, and there's literally no multivitamins like, like the product. Let's about talk about nutritional deficiencies. The reason that billions and billions of dollars today is being spent on vitamins, people mm -hmm. are buying vitamins, is because, and you believe, that people have nutritional deficiencies? Absolutely, yes. So people have nutritional deficiencies. Uh -huh. if, they, if they're not getting it from the food, because the food has been depleted, right? Yes, rice and the soil has been depleted. It's been, yes. I remember Dr. Emanuel Siraskin said we'd, eat, we'd have to eat five times as much food today than our grandparents just to receive the same nutritional And the value. USDA had reports like that in the 50s. So we can't, we, we can't get the nutrition from the food. Right. Everybody is nutrient deficient. They're lacking the proper amounts of nutrition, vitamins, and minerals. What do those nutritional deficiencies cause? What type of diseases do nutritional deficiencies cause? Well, the World Health Organization, which uh, was behind the iodizing of salt, because the original deficiency was in iodine mm -hmm. in the early part of the 20th century, they say that the deficiencies in iron, uh, some other minerals, and iodine are the main deficiencies. They state in all their literature online, in the, in the books, and the scientific agreement is that nutritional deficiencies are the beginning of all disease, of degenerative disease. That nutritional deficiencies or malnutrition weakens the body so much that the immune system's weakened, but also the body does uh, strange things. The cells try to survive in strange ways, and they might even bring in a parasite or bring in bacteria to help, help them survive. You be so nutrition, I believe the real disease in this country, in America, is the disease of the mind, thinking science it does it better than nature. I think that's the real disease. And if you want to talk about the origin of disease, it's the origin is in the, is in the illness of the mind, the illusion of the mind, that we think that these men of science can, can duplicate or imitate life. It, it's, it's a biblical lie, and I'm against it. I'm against the, the entire phys, uh, psychological or theological argument that men can create food or vitamins. I think it's untrue. I think it's been untrue all along. There's no science that supports it. And I think doctors have even said that. Remember in the 60s and 70s, mm -hmm. vitamins don't work. Right. But let's talk about the... But the, the NCI and other groups have done studies on these synthetics, and they have proven that they cause other problems, and that's why there's a debate going on whether vitamins work or not. We know a, a vitamin C deficiency leads to scurvy. Yes. Okay. What hap But you're saying... Not a synthetic vitamin C deficiency, but a... The real vitamin the C real deficiency. Vitamin C, yes. And so the question is, if a person is deficient in calcium, if they're deficient in vitamin D, uh -huh. if they are deficient in vitamin E, yes. what potential health problems can start developing? Uh, diabetes is one of the first ones. And we see that diabetes is, is increasing. Uh, and, you think that and you think diabetes is, is one of the major factors is a vitamin deficiency? Nutritional deficiencies, Nutritional absolutely. Deficiencies. And it's, it's become the number one killer in, in Mexico. Um, when cancer. You have, is cancer caused by nutritional deficiencies? Diabetes, I, I've got the literature here that, that there's new findings about cancer being related to diabetes, certain types of cancer being related to diabetes, but it all comes back to the cellular malfunction. Mm -hmm. If the cells are malfunctioning on a, on a biological level, okay, and the mitochondria is breaking down, which are the energy producing parts of each cell, like a battery in a child's toy, it resides in there and energizes the cell the cell will begin to, to weaken and weaken until finally it will kill itself. 
Okay, it's apoptosis, which will it will eradicate itself. Well, enough cells do that, and we break down. But so I think that all diseases stem from an origin. All degenerative diseases stem from the origin of malnutrition. And then the vitamins came in uh, as a possible and uh, as a possible solution. But Pauling only proved that it's only in the late stages of a disease that the body will accept those synthetic vitamins. Uh, well, so he proved that. But. Now you are a big proponent, and I am in my books as well, that. You don't take vitamins mm -hmm. because they're synthetic chemicals, but we do have nutritional deficiencies because there's no way for us to get all the vitamins and minerals and nutrition from the food we're eating. Mm -hmm.